back in the old days? I don't know. I'm not that old. That's what you think. What do you want to know? We were doing a history project at school, and Miss Elliot told us that people had to stay indoors and work all the time. They couldn't go outside, and it was like a prison. Is that true? Well, almost. When I was younger, people had to work in offices because their phones couldn't work outside, so they were tied to their desks. What, with ropes? Now you're being silly. They weren't tied, but everything they used, like phones, faxes and computers, were connected to wires. So wherever the wires were, the people had to be, or else they couldn't work. Why didn't they just use an omni phone? Well, they weren't invented then. Oh. I remember my first mobile in the 1980s, but they were so big and heavy, they weren't very practical. How big were they? Oh, about as big as this. Here, try. I'm not carrying that. <laughs> they got smaller over the years, but people became free and didn't have to stay indoors all day. You know, I can remember a time when you would be driving along an open road when suddenly you'd hit a traffic jam. People could be stuck in their cars for hours on end. Why? Well, nowadays the car tells us if there's one ahead and even suggests a different way to go. But in those days, we had to listen to the car radio for traffic reports and read great big maps to find our way. So it didn't call us have a navigation system in those days? No. They didn't have diagnostics either, so they used to break down, leaving you stranded on deserted roads. I thought you said the roads were always busy. Well, they were, unless you broke down. The car used to wait until I was in the middle of nowhere. I swear it had a mind of its own. So didn't it warn you when you were about to break down? No, cars weren't that clever then. And didn't it direct you from Nero's garage? No. Yeah, you try either try and fix you yourself, or wait for a truck to come along and tow you to the nearest garage. Well, at least you could watch a film or surf the net while you were waiting, couldn't you? You must be joking. Is it true you had to buy all your food in the supermarket and push a big trolley and things around when you were young? Here we go again. Yes, we did. Not only that, we had a shopping list on a piece of paper, and I'd usually lost it by the time we got there. <laughs> so can you order through the internet? No. You had to load up your trolley, queue, and pay for it. Couldn't you just pay for things with your mobile? No, there was no such thing as a digital wallet in those days. You had to pay with cash. Cash? Where'd you get that from? Well, once upon a time, you had to go to a bank if you needed cash but you could only go when they were open, which was never when you needed it most. Then, mobiles came in called WAP phones, which meant you could do all your banking through the internet. Then came the digital wallets, which we have now. So, no more queues, no more cash, and no more questions. What else couldn't you do from your mobile that you can now? What is this, the Spanish Inquisition? What's that? Never mind. Mobiles used to be for just talking to one another. You used to dial a number to call the person you wanted to be in touch with. What number? Well, each person had an individual number to identify them. Couldn't you just tell the phone to call them? I wish. No, you had to remember lots of different numbers. It must have been really difficult to reach people. Yeah, I suppose it was. But machines weren't as clever as they are now. They weren't connected to one another, and that meant you had to do all the hard work yourself. Now, a few years ago, your fridge didn't even know when it was empty, so you get home and find that you had nothing to eat. You couldn't download your favourite song or your favourite film or tell your central heating to switch yourself on. Now you can do all sorts of things from wherever you are, all because someone managed to connect machines to computers that can talk to each other. Oh, looks like some kind of coin. Is that old money? Well, let's see just how old it is, shall we? It couldn't be older than you. Aye. Ah, it says here it's a French coin minted in 1652 during the reign of Louis XIV. Wow, can I keep it? Well, let's see, why not? Cool! Another thing you couldn't do a few years ago was all the tickets on your mobile. You know, air tickets, cinema tickets, theatre tickets. 
tickets for a football match. It's already done. Wow! <laughs> Come on. on our mobiles one day? No, some things will never change, fortunately. I think it's time we stop, children, watch that sound. Everybody look what's going down. Stop, hey, watch that sound. Everybody look what's going down.